My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 37 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In the previous episode, we started variation and we introduced direct, inverse, joint, and partial variation. In this episode, episode 38 and episode 39, we shall be answering questions on the variation. Remember, we are making use of the Flash Learner Jam application. And do well to install one for yourself to practice more questions. If you have issue with any of the questions, screenshot and send to me on WhatsApp, Telegram, or any of my social handles, Flash Linux, or I am Flash Isaac. Now let us begin. The length a person can jump is inversely proportional to his weight. If a 20 kg person can jump 1.5 meter, find the constant of proportionality. Remember I told you that in variation, we don't solve with proportionality sign. We always convert to equality. And as such, a constant will be introduced. Here we are told that the length, let's length be L, a person can jump, is inversely proportional to the weight, which means length is proportional to 1 over weight. As such, length is equals k over weight. As such, constant will be equals length times weight. If the length is 20 kg, 20, and the weight is 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters, the constant of proportionality will be 20 times 1.5. This is the same thing as 20 times, once you move this decimal point once, you get to the end of the numbers. Moving once, you divide by 10. So everything here is 15, since the decimal point has moved backward over 10. From here, food is very, very ready because this is the same thing as 20 times 15 over 10. 10 goes into 20, that is 2, and 2 times 15 is 30. The constant of proportionality is 30. You can solve it any way you know it best, but that is what you are going to get. If A varies inversely as B, and A is equals 15, when B is equals 3, find the value of A when B is equals 9. If we are using this our shortcut for inverse variation, A1, B1 is equals A2, B2, you will see that A1 is equals 15, B1 is equals 3, A2 is what we are looking for, and B2 is equals 9. As such, A1, 15 times B1, 3, is equals A2 times 9. A2 becomes, divide both sides by 9, that is 15 times 3 over 9. This will give you, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 9 divided by 3, that will give you 3. 15 divided by 3, 5, everything here should be equals 5. So 5 is B2. If you are not cool with this shortcut, you can do like this. A varies inversely as B. As such, A is equals K over B. As such, K will be A times B. And that is equals A times B, 15 times 3. That will give you 45. So the constant is 45. Since we've gotten the constant, we bring out this equation again. A is equals k over b. The constant doesn't change. So 45 over what is b 
the new B is 9. So 45 over 9. S varies directly as the product of P and Q. This is what? A joint variation question. S varies directly as the product of P and Q. S varies directly as the product of P and Q. And inversely, as their difference and inversely as p minus q wow this question makes a lot of sense to me s varies directly as the product of p and q which is p times q and inversely as p minus q from here s becomes equals k p q over p minus q we are told that if s is equals 4, s is equals 4, when p is equals 5, and q is equals 3, what is the value of s, which means s2 is equals question, when p is equals 7, and q is equals 1. This question can be solved in two ways. If S is equals this guy, in variation, the first thing you do is look for the constant of proportionality. So, constant becomes, we divide both sides by everything here. S over P, Q over P minus Q is equals K. Since if you divide everything here by everything here, k will remain. You can choose to find the constant directly, or you do this. Since this one is equals constant, the second part of it, which is s2 over, let's say, p2 times q2 over p2 minus q2. Since everything here is p1, q1, p2, q2. This guy will also be equals constant. If you equate this to this, you'll be able to get your S2 directly without finding K first. That will give you something like this. S over P Q over P minus Q is equals S2 over P to Q2 over p2 minus q2 so here this is your p or p1 q or q1 s or s1 then this side is your here is your s2 p2 is 7 and q1 uh, q2 is 1 if you substitute this like this you get the value of s to be 28 over 45 but let's solve the hard way for the first part, to look for the constant of proportionality, S is 4 over P times Q, that's 5 times 3, all over P minus Q, 5 minus 3, 5 minus 3, this is equals K. Therefore, K is equals, now that I've gotten the value of K, we'll come back to this equation to find the second value of S. The second value of S becomes S is equals K, 8 over 15, times P times Q, the second P times the second Q, 7 times 1, over P minus Q, the second P minus the second Q, 7 minus 1. Ladies and gentlemen, this will give you 28 over 45. Option B is the correct option. This brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to go over it, get the flash, then I jump up, begin to play with questions, reach out to me if you have any problem. And to get the app, visit flashlearner.com for the various versions, reach out to me, or search Flash Learners Jam app on the various app form, app store and platform. See you in the next episode.